TikTokers. The funny type. Hey, I'm Kieran. Yeah, I don't really know how to describe my content. I just, I just have a bit of fun with the app, really. I like making skits every now and then. And uh, when I need to play a female, I put a cloth on my head. I don't know how this is convincing, but it works. This is TikTok, not Hollywood. The model. Hi there, I'm Talia. <laughs> now, if I look familiar, it's probably because you've seen my face in the window of like every trendy store. And my unrealistic body shape when you go to shop online. <laughs> yeah, that's me. The bitch who can suit anything and make you think you look anywhere near as good as me when you go to try the clothes on yourself. <laughs> Silly girl. So I try to get pretty creative with my TikTok. Um, so every now and then I'll spice things up and I will film my face from a different angle. I love doing TikTok challenges. A challenge I recently did was called the Mix Challenge. It's basically where you show everyone how much you look like two drop dead gorgeous celebrities combined. It's pretty creative. Also, also, also since it's a trend, here's my side profile. Do you see it? It's really hot. And in my bio I've written the words I live by. Stay humble. People always ask me what my hobbies are, and I know this might be a bit of a shock to some people, but I really do love fishing for compliments. And I know this is a bit naughty, but like every now and then I'll write a caption like, oh, I look like death in this, ignore my face. Because I know I don't, of course. I never do. And then I just receive all these comments like, this just called me ugly in 50 different languages, which like blows me away because, you know, I thought I could only speak English. Turns out I'm bisexual. Oh, that's going in the bio. Oh, I'm stunning and I know it, but I do love getting people to remind me. It's just so fun. Like everyone has things they're addicted to, right? I mean, like it's kind of like a drug. Like I do need my shot of praise every day, <laughs> you know? So I'm on like 1.4 million. Uh, I don't know, his came and count. But it was around about the time when I hit 100,000 when I decided to put the word influencer in my bio. Even though the only influence I have on other people would have to be like self-esteem issues with a side of body dysmorphia. The F boy. Yeah, all right, I'm Julian. And uh, although the only modeling I've done so far has been in front of my phone screen, I'm just I'm waiting on that manager call any day now. Like, you know how it is? We're out here just trying our best to to go places. And although I'd like to make content for, you know, people around my own age, my audience is like 13 and horny. Don't know where I signed up for that one, you know, just <laughs> better get that file out and you know, scribble it out. Oh, I'm, I'm kidding. I fucking love it. They go ape shit over me. I've already used that joke, but what can I say? I'm a man of not many words. I'm pretty sure I've bitten my lip in TikTok so much, like, like, you know, like real sexy. Like, I'm pretty sure I've done that a bit too much and it's done like a bit of nerve damage to it. Which is like pretty unfortunate because it means I won't be able to feel much when I'm kissing your bitch. Mom, I'm filming! So all my mates are doing no uh, November, right? Whereas I'm over here just trying not to get too excited when I watch myself back on TikTok. Well, just the other day, one of my own videos popped up on my For You page. I was like, oh, who's that sexy bastard? Oh, too late. <laughs> Hey, 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 you feel me? I'm feeling myself. <laughs> I'm single and miserable, leave me alone. I myself am a Christian boy, so the only thing I get drunk of is the Holy Spirit. Because when I look at my hair, I'm reminded that it was transplanted there from Jesus himself. I usually wear this cross necklace to show my faith, but also everyone knows how long my tongue is. So my most recent TikTok is this one where like I spat water in the air and I went, Gravity. And uh, let's just say I'm not the only one who's wet. I don't do much really, but one wink and I've made someone's day. Two of these and I've got someone out of their wheelchair. An abracadabra, three thrusts and I've cured cancer. The dancer. Hi guys, I'm Charlotte and I'm a self-proclaimed dancer. <laughs> I don't really move from the one spot when I dance. Really all I'm doing is waving my arms around. But like, as soon as Famous Birthdays described my content as inspiring. So I knew it was time to host my first meet and greet. I was 15 when I started, but I'm 16 now. I charged a reasonable $100 if you would like to film a TikTok with me. My grandma said I've grown up quite a bit. She said my head's gotten bigger, but I'd say it's around the same size. People say they don't know what all the hype is about. But like, have you ever seen a 16 year old girl dancing before? The parent. Hi, my name is Fran. Uh, I'm a single mum of three and I make TikTok. Look, I'm not gonna give away my age, but I do have a son that's about 14. I, you wouldn't know, you wouldn't guess, would you? Well, kids know not to bother me when mum's making a TikTok. But occasionally I will feature them just to see how many views I can get. <laughs> Should I just say that out loud? Oh, Sarah, do that again. That was, can you, but can, this time, can you do it a bit closer to the edge of that coffee table? Yeah? Can you do that for mummy? 
was funny. When my husband and I separated, the way I told my kids was through a TikTok. My therapist says I have a weird way of coping with things. But look, I just say it's better than a bottle of red before bed, you know what I'm saying? Some people say it's not for me, but honestly, I think I was just born in the wrong generation. No, I wouldn't say I'm very slack with my responsibilities as a parent. Like the other day, my eight-year-old was nagging me about when dinner's gonna be ready. I was just like, make it yourself. Look, my lip syncing is out of time and I'm still trying to figure out how to press like on a video, but I'm getting somewhere. Look, I'm enjoying myself and that's all that matters. The story time. Okay, so guys, I just found this box in my backyard. It was like underneath all this dirt. I'm just saying, whatever's in here, it could be from the 50s. <sighs> oh, I'm nervous. All right, so I'm about to open it. Like for part two. There, just trying our best, you know how it. Oh, it's one of my girlfriends. 